Green Country teachers say the current setup for classrooms isn't enough for recruitment. This week, Governor Stitt proposed a $1,200 raise for educators. Teachers say that adds up to about $75 a month, and they spend closer to $90 monthly on supplies. It's more money in my pocket every month, which is great. I mean, it's a stretch as a teacher and what we're making as it is, even with a master's degree. But I think if you asked any teacher, they'd all say, I would rather forgo that and put it towards classroom funding where we really need it more. Many classes have grown to more than 30 students. The governor says bringing in additional teachers is the answer. But educators tell us with a lack of resources, people will keep leaving schools. The most important thing to me is meeting the individual needs of every child that sits in this classroom. And I can't physically do that with class sizes where they are. And there's not a teacher in my district that feels that they're able to do that to the extent that they'd like to. This fifth grade teacher is also worried about the governor's signing bonus proposal, a matching program of up to $5,000 for participating districts. I think that there could be some unintended consequences when it comes to pitting districts against each other. If you have a district that's able to pay it versus a district that's not, where really our overall goal is to provide the best possible opportunity to all of our kids. But educators do feel optimistic, seeing multiple bills aimed at increasing spending on each student. I think a lot of the legislators in both, you know, the House and the Senate are more aware of the issues and willing to kind of put bills out there that would help us. Reporting in Bixby. Megan Allison, two works for you.